Behind closed doors all over Britain, thousands of young girls are secretly logging online. This is horrific. All with one thing in common, the passion for thin. How is this even online? TV presenter and radio DJ Fern Cotton is putting her normal life on hold. So that in my basket actually is more than what I'm going to eat in two days. To take an emotional journey into cyberspace. Today has been hell. To investigate a virtual world where girls meet. Apart from these sites, I don't have any other support. To share crash diets and compete with each other to lose weight. It nearly killed me. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Fat, fat, fat. This is the world of Pro Anna. I don't know how people go through this every day living like this. Where starving yourself is seen as a life choice. I'll never ever do a crash diet or any sort of diet again. Fern got her first job in children's TV when she was just 15. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Over the last 12 years, she's become a huge role model to girls all over Britain. I do take it quite seriously because when I was a kid, I looked up to different presenters and people on TV and they did make an impact on me. In the last 10 years, anorexia in young girls in the UK has increased by 80%. And as the internet has become more accessible to young people, a new trend has emerged where young girls secretly meet online to share tips and tricks on how to lose weight. It's an alien world to Fern, and she is about to experience it for the very first time. I'm sort of dreading going on them. I just sort of, oh, I just, I'm scared about what I'm going to see. This is terrifying. I feel like I'm doing something really bad just even logging onto these websites. There are an estimated 500 Pro Anna websites. Oh my, oh my goodness, there's like a million pages of these things with girls as young as 10 believed to be logging on. We're going to do it. Let's go straight to the biggest website. Oh my goodness, look at that picture of that girl. Uh, this is just like a message board by the looks of things. That is just terrible. I've been struggling with anorexia for 15 years now. Uh, there have been periods of recovery within that time, but here I am again struggling. I'm so excited to have found a place where I can chat to people who understand what I'm going through. My goal is to lose about another 14 pounds. Keep your fingers crossed for me and I'll let you know how it goes. Hi there, welcome. I want to lose 14 pounds so we can do it together. I haven't eaten since 3pm yesterday, hoping to fast today. Wish me luck. I can't even believe, I can't even believe this. I need to stop eating. I need to be gorgeous. I need perfection and control more than ever. I need it now. How is this even online? This I did not expect to see. Health problems. Some of my least favourite effects. Body hair. Pooing blood and yellow pus. Fainting several times a day. How can you still want to carry on? How can being thin be more important than not having your health? I'm really shocked and quite disgusted at how quickly I got onto that website. I mean, if you're age 14, and you've not got much life experience, you might look at this as a teenager and go, oh, this person says I don't need food, well then I shouldn't be eating it. That's terrifying. This website should be illegal. This website should not be allowed to pop up. It's just absolutely disgusting. Shocked by how young some of the girls are on the websites, Fern is going to a school in West London to find out if ordinary 10-year-olds are worried about their weight. Would you say you're all happy with your body image, with your own yeah. bodies? No. no. Not really. I think I have a big tummy and big thighs. Really? You're a tiny little thing. What makes you think that? Um, people call me fat all the time. No, they don't. At school? What do you say to them when they say that? I don't like it. I don't like my body. Why? Because I've got a big bum, big thighs and a big belly. You don't want to lose weight though, do you? Yeah. You do? Why is that? Because I think I weigh too much, but I don't want to tell anyone how much I weigh. You don't have to tell anyone how much you weigh. Well, how, well, why would you like to lose weight then? Do you think you'd feel better if you lost weight? I wouldn't want to lose, like, a stone, but, like, a couple of crap, like, a little bit of it. What, do you think you'd feel better if you did that? I'd feel happy. 
And do you think when people get really thin, that makes them happier? Yeah. You think, uh, yeah, do you? It's I think, yeah. Why do you think, yeah? Because they think they have a better image. What do you think, Phoebe? Who do you like who's famous, who's got a good body image? Um, I'd say Leona Lewis. Do you think she's happy with how she looks? Probably, yeah. What do you think? You. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> you're not fat and you're not skinny, you're just right. Just sort of normal. It's because I like eating and I like exercising, that's why. OK, who knows about calories? Who knows what calories are? Can okay, we we'll go for you on the end, what do you think? Um, on, like, for example, Twix or Kit Kats, they write in big bold letters on the front how many calories it has. 109. Yeah, and, like, Kit Kat has, like, 109 calories and um, 98 calories. Not that I keep record of it, but... Do you care about calories? Does it matter to you how many you eat a day? Yes. No. It doesn't matter how many you eat a day? How many do you think you should eat? I don't really count them. But they, they are bad because you have to try and spend all your time doing exercise and trying to burn them off. And have any of you ever been on a diet? <laughs> no. Too young. Have you been on a diet? How did you find out about it? Like, you'll go on the magazines, websites, and I hear about it. I learnt loads from those kids. I'm absolutely terrified at how much they know about body image, size, celebrity. I am... 100% sure that at that age I had no um, idea about diets. I don't think I really cared about body image. I just find it so shocking. She's a 10 year old girl and she's tried a diet that she found on the internet. When she gets home, Fern logs back onto the Pro Anna site. 57 reasons written up why you should not eat. You'll be fat if you eat today. Just put it off one more day. Fat people can't fit everywhere. Guys will be able to pick you up without struggling. You'll be able to run fast without all the extra weight holding you back. Hmm, OK. Fern wants to show just how dangerous extreme dieting can be for young girls. To do that, she's prepared to try a diet from one of the sites. So, there's a list of all these different diets here. And, um... I mean, I feel that I should just try, a, like, you know, try a few of these out for a day at a time. I want to see how it makes me feel, because I've never extreme dieted. I want to see how tired I am, how groggy I feel. So I'm going to try and experience it. Right, rainbow. Breakfast. An apple for breakfast. Oh, no, half an apple for breakfast. Half an apple for lunch. One cucumber for dinner. That's not even a snack. Like, that's, that's not a snack. And that's all day, 100 calories to live on. And this website is two clicks away from Google, getting onto this page. Search engines like Google do try to shut down the pro on a site, but the lack of regulation on the internet means sites can reappear as quickly as they are closed down. I mean, I've got a 14-year-old cousin, and if I ever knew that she'd logged onto any of these websites, gone anywhere near them, I'd be absolutely devastated. The fact that every school kid these days has a laptop or an access to a computer at school and can do that, I find that terrifying. Although Fern is just dieting for a few days, there are both physical and psychological issues she may face, so she's going to see leading nutritionist Dr Adam Carey. On the way to the surgery, she finds herself being followed by the paparazzi. It's always a weird thing with anyone following you around taking pictures because you're on guard the whole time and sort of, you know, you obviously don't want to be papped you know, in your pyjamas down the supermarket or whatever. But also it does creep into the weight thing. Um, I mean, I've, I've been a sort of steady nine stone-ish around that weight for about the last ten years, so I've never really been subjected to that sort of media coverage. The more magazines highlight it, the more people get obsessed and then the more obsessed you get you need that feeding more, you need to fuel that and see more pictures and more images. Um, so I think it, it, it is an obsession really. Come in. Hi Adam, how are you doing? Lovely to meet you. Come nice in. to meet you. Come in. 